Oh, hey guys, let's talk about a couple of pro tips when saving in Flash. So I've got this file set up and I really like it and I want to make sure that I don't lose my work. So to guarantee that I don't lose my work, which is, you know, these wonderful three frames of animation, I need to save often. So it's one thing to, you know, come on into your symbol and make your edits and you're like, doing your little thing, you're like, sweet. That change is so important. I want to make sure I save it. Control S. Awesome. Hitting Control S on your keyboard is super important for preventing a lot of heartache when Flash decides it's going to crash on you. Because I guarantee you, sooner or later, Flash will be crashing on you and you're going to lose whatever work you didn't save. If you want to do an advanced strat, something that's going to save you even more grief, try using Control Shift S every now and then. When you've hit a major milestone or accomplished something that you feel like, man, I really want to make sure I retain that work, do Control Shift S, save it as an incremental file name. So if it was Pro Tips 01, save it as Pro Tips 02. That's going to give you an extra layer of security. Because if you think about it, now that I've got Pro Tips 02, I'm in here and say I'm like working on stuff, and this happens all the time, by the way, because you want to like double click a shape. And then maybe you've got like, uh, you know, a line fill. This is a good example. So I've got this outline on here that I've drawn and I want to double click it and delete it. Oftentimes what can happen is instead of double clicking the line, you'll double click on the stage and then hit delete. And you might notice that that happened. I mean, depending on the situation that you're working in and you can just hit undo. But sometimes you might hit, um, you know, the big delete button and then move on. Say you're working on a different frame over here and then you're still doing your thing. You're like, yeah, I really like how this looks. And then you'll hit control S. And then your mom will call you to dinner or your wife or your husband or whoever calls you to dinner and you get distracted and you close flash. So I close flash and then I go away. I have my dinner, whatever. I come back, I open it up and wait. Where's my information? There's two things that save my butt here. Number one, I hit Control S, Control Shift S, that is, and save it as a different version. So that means I can open Recent, Pro Tips 01, and I've still got my work. I've still got the version where I didn't delete everything. Number two, you'll notice in my library, the symbol is saved. So because I use symbols, I can drag this out onto the stage and I can reposition it. Let's see, let's get it on the right frame here. Let's see, position it to 256 and 256. And then I can come on in. And what do you know, it's saved. The other um, variation of doing a control shift S is duplicating your symbol, which is kind of like saving a duplicate of your file, but it only creates duplicates over here in your library. So. First off, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to double click on symbol 2, I'm going to call it fire and water, and then I'm going to right click on it here on the stage, notice now that it says it's an instance of fire and water, and I'm going to click duplicate symbol, and then I can come in and say fire and water 2. So now in my library I've got two instances of an identical symbol but they have different names. What's really cool about this is I can come in here and say I want to make the water, I don't know, uh, more of a purple color. Oh, that didn't work. More of a pink color. Yeah, pink water is the best. Whatever crazy change I want. And then I get going through and I'm like, yeah, I really like it. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? I don't really like it. Pink water is the worst. I can right click on it and I can say swap symbol. And I can see a nice preview here of what I'm going to swap it out with. And I can go back to the version that I like, say OK. It keeps it in the same position, on the same frame, and it's very easy to go back to a previous version of my work. So there you go. There's some pro tips on making sure you don't lose your work, and I hope you learned something.